So we're going to draw the uh, auto blocks car. So the first thing I did was I made a new component and I made the T9 windshield. So I already did that before I started the video. And I'm going to start a 2D sketch. And I'm going to start by drawing a flat line. And this is the only thing that is easy on this, 3.04. Okay. I'm going to actually drag this down so it's not in the way. And then I'm going to draw two arcs. Um, one three-point arc going this way. Not over, it can't cross this line, so just over here somewhere. Make sure it's flexing up a little bit. And the dimension on that arc is going to be six. Um, don't worry about it like stretching it up. Like we can actually grab this point and move it. So like um, this line can move uh, and get shorter or longer as we need it. And then we're going to do another line from this point, uh, we're going to draw it up. Oops, not a line, sorry, another arc. Three point. Uh, we're going to go up, flex it out a little, and once again, this arc is going to be at six. Okay. Now, this arc also has a linear dimension from here to here, is going to be 0.64. Uh, and I can also tell you, like, we're going to have to do some work to get it in exactly the right spot. So it should be on this side. Oh, come on. My mouse is giving me a hard time here. Uh, I'm going to leave it right there, whatever. Um, and these two, these two have to connect. Uh, that's the whole key here. Um, and they have to connect with another arc another three-point arc, so where is it? Three-point arc, so I have to do a three-point arc from here to here, and that flexes out, right? And this three-point arc has a dimension of 0.4. Uh, now, as you can see, we've got some issues with the bending here. So we do have to go and use a constraint to make sure this is good, like these lines need to be tangent. So in that one, so they need to be tangent. Once you get that tangent in, this is the profile you're going to use uh, for your arc. And you'll see once you get a tangent, it may try to drift on you. And that means we're not quite right. So we have one more dimension to add to make sure we are all on track. And that last dimension is going to be, we're going to take the dimension tool and you're going to go from here to here, from this point to this point, we're going to drag it down, and that should be 0 0.03. And that'll put us in the perfect position. So I'm going to hit finish sketch, and then once we finish the sketch, we can extrude this shape to be 2.55. I'm going to extrude it 2.55, going out, and that looks great. Uh, the next step, zoom out a little, uh, the next step here is we do want to do a fillet on this uh, and the radius for that fillet is going to be 0.5. So I'm doing a radius on this edge and this edge that is going to be 0.5 like so. So that gives me the curve of my, my roof. After I do that fillet, I'm going to do a shell. And the shell for this is going to be 0 0.07. So I'm going to do a shell. Nope, shell right here. Uh, I'm going to click the face, and I want to definitely remove the bottom face, 0 0.07. And you see how I clicked on the bottom, and it removed the bottom? So there we go. Now I'm going to make a sketch on the bottom face like so. And um, actually, you know what? I don't want to make a sketch on the bottom face. I want to make a construction plane on the bottom face. So I want to go here and I want to offset this plane down. Uh, point six seven. So I want to offset a work plane down from there, point six seven. Not six point seven, point six seven. Okay. So you'll have a plane like that because that's where we want to start our sketch. Now, 
Um, to do that, if you had trouble making the, the plane, when you go to offset plane, you kind of click and then it'll let you uh, set your plane wherever you want it. From that plane, I'm going to go create sketch. I'm going to click on the plane now. I want to project this geometry because I'm going to use it for reference. So I'm going to go project and I'm just going to click that whole outside edge and click OK. So now I can use that all for reference. OK. So once I've got that all for reference, I've got to start making my sketch. Uh, and I'm going to keep the dimensions more simple than the T9 car, a little easier for you. So I'm going to make a two point rectangle in here. All right. Um, and the rectangle should be 1.54 this way, 1.54, and it should be Uh, hold on a second. I'm getting my measurement right now. It should be 1.97 this way. Here, 1.97 in there. From the what I'm going to call the front edge. So from the front edge, which is this one, to here. From the front edge, we should be 0.68. And from the top edge, from the top edge, we should be 0.29. And it's thinking about that one. There we go. All right, and then we need some some fillets here. So I'm going to use the fillet tool. Uh, where is that? There we go. I need to fill it one, two, three, four corners to be 0.15. All right, and then after I do that, I'm going to offset this 0 0.05. So I'm gonna to go to offset, I'm gonna click my shape and it's 0 0.05 on the inside. So there we go. I am going to hit finish sketch. I am going to go to extrude. I'm going to select the sketch and I want to go up and I want to go to object. I want to go to object. Um, And it looks like it might give me a problem with this. Because of the negative. Uh, it should go up this way to the object, but it won't let me do that because I'm picking it from the wrong side. Let me see if I try to pick it from this side. To object. And it is not letting me go to object because of the direction of my extrusion. So bear with me for a moment. All right, I figured it out. So we're gonna to go to extrude, select this box. We're gonna change it to two object. And now you have to click the object you want it to go to. And it will extrude up to that object. Uh, making sure we're doing a join and click okay. And now you see it goes up and it wraps along the object. This is the entire thing. Uh, we are going to color it. All of our stuff needs appearances now. So I'm going to find a good plastic. Uh, translucent green, that's what I want. I'm gonna drag that on there. Um, and then just for this uh, physical material, 
We are going to pick plastic. And we're going to go with acrylic clear. Or maybe we'll go with our green clear. I would so much like it to be. Okay, we'll go with acrylic clear and then uh, let's see if we can go back to appearance now and add the color. Now I'm going to right click to show you on this first one that if you've done it right, you should be able to click OK. You should be able to right click on this and go to properties. And it tells you the physical material, it tells you the volume and the density and the area and the ounce mass. So this is your answer for each thing. I'm going to I'm going to be looking for probably the area and the ounce mass is what I'm going to be asking you for or like these three values for each piece. So uh, that is what we're going to be doing and that is what I'm going to need you to do for me. Uh, later we could get into moments of inertia and all that good stuff uh, but for right now we're just going to stick with this stuff. So for each piece you're going to have to have this information ready to go. Okay, so that is the first piece to the T9 car which I will save as T9 car now. 